All right, Vapid2323 from Vapid Flat Simpler Server and uh, SMP Server. So today we're going to talk about one of the, uh, it's a little harder command for a lot of people to understand or get used to. And um, we're only really going to cover the basics of how to use this command. I'm going to talk about the copy and paste commands. Um, for the most part, most server admins won't let you have access to these type of commands until you're probably what they call an advanced builder. Um, it, these commands have the um, possibility that somebody would spam. Um, it is copy and paste. You can paste as many times as you want, and it can create some problems. So, um, first, I'm going to show you some of the basic commands um, that you can do with uh, copy and paste and how. Um, we can kind of make things quicker for you. Um, I, I will show you some tricks that I know, and um, yeah, we'll just get started here. So the the first command is well, copy. Um, now, if you're familiar with the shortcuts on your keyboard, like copy and paste shortcuts, um, Control V, Control C, um, those shortcuts can kind of be applied here. Um, forward slash C is copy, and forward slash V is paste. Um, so I will be using those from now on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do Control C. It says place two blocks to determine the edges, and I'm going to copy this guy. I want to copy this pillar. Maybe one of the players on my server wants to move it, or maybe it's mine, and um, I just need to get it out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and I'm going to do it just like um, we do in our cuboid video. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, we want to go kitty corner from one edge or one corner to the opposite um, corner. And that way we copy all of the blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and it says um, 649 blocks have been copied. Um, so now the one thing that is important to understand about a um, copy paste, where you start your copy is where the paste begins from. And this will make sense a little bit more later, but I started my copy down here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use my paste function. I'm going to go V and it says place a box in the corner of where you want to paste. And I'm going to go ahead and right click and it pasted an exact copy of what I'm of uh, this pillar right here. All right. So that's great. Now, there's another trick to this. Um, it's called copy cut, and that is simply C cut. And this is really great if you don't want to leave the object behind. Let's say I want to move it from one map to another. I can go ahead and do the same basic process. I can get my flying here to work. Except this time, it disappears. And then when I paste it, um, the rest of it's the same, so we'll just go ahead and hit paste, and there it is. So you can move it, you can cut it, you can copy it, um, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, now, there are some tricks to this. Um, what you can use is the static command. So static, which I'll probably talk about a little bit more in another video. Um, static basically just simply makes your command, uh, allows you to run the same command over and over and over again without clicking or typing or doing anything extra. So I'm just going to do V now. As you can see, in my static mode over here is true. That's a static um, setting. It's a toggle. Um, and it will stay true until I tell it to be false. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and do another paste function. And if I come over here, I can do another one. And all I'm doing is right clicking. So you can quickly build up a structure um, well, really, really, really fast. So um, you can use this in all sorts of different things. I've used it on uh, roofs of houses. Um, I've used it uh, all over. If I want to make a pattern on this uh, this grass terrain right here, so I'm going to go back to using a, a, a Z command, and I'm just going to go put some wood here um, on this grass. Now, it, normally you'd have to do Z a bunch of times and run across this map, you know, a whole bunch of times. But what I'm going to do is C for copy. I'm going to copy this block and I'm going to copy that block. Now, here's the thing. I was kind of pointing it out over there. It's very important where you copy from. If I try to do a forward slash V for paste and I try to paste here, 
it doesn't paste the entire line. It just pastes right here. And actually what's going on is it's trying to paste all the way out into there. Well, in order to paste properly, I'm going to go ahead and have to place it right here. Now, all I had to do is click again because I had static on. But you can get the idea. I can quickly make a whole bunch of lines on this map without having to go back and forth over and over and over again. So copy-paste is really, really useful. Now, there's one thing that I haven't talked about just yet. And that's when you need to copy something that isn't a rectangle or cube or something where it's really, really easy. One of the most hard, one of the harder things to copy is, um, let's say, a pyramid. And I think I have one here. Uh, flat nine, I think, is where it was. So I'm going to go into flat nine, and um, of course, I've got a gigantic pyramid above me. But I got this little guy right here. Um, this little pyramid is actually the one that I'm going to try to copy. So I've laid out a block down here already just to get us started. And the reason I put the block down here is, again, we have to use it kind of like we did a cuboid. Remember, we're doing a cube. I need to copy the space inside of a cube. So in order to include all these different features, I can't start on this corner and go up to the top. I'll only get like a third of this, cube, of this pyramid. So I need to start way down here outside of the edge of the, uh, this furthest point here. And I'm going to just go ahead and do uh, V. Oh, whoops. I'm going to do C for copy. Um, I'm going to destroy this block because I want that to be my starting point. Now, notice I started on the ground. Always start on the ground if possible. Um, because, again, when you paste it, well, if you start up in the air, you kind of have to guess in when you want to place a block or where you want to place a block in the air to get it to work properly. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and go over to this other side. It looks like I'm getting a little bit of lag over here, but, um, and I'm going to go to this corner right here and I've already pre-drilled a little hole above me. Um, and I'm going to go up straight up because I still need to go higher than this object. And you can see where this becomes a little bit more difficult. I'm just guessing here. So, Obviously, where I'm standing, there is no block. I can't click on anything. I can't destroy anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the place command. Um, and this place command is actually going to put a block right where I'm standing, right underneath me. So now I've got my block set up. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And it says 1,643 blocks have been copied. I'm going to go back to where I want to place this object. Go to training. All right. Now, fortunately, because I placed the um, uh, starting point on the ground, I should be able to just go down to the ground and paste this object into this map. Now, uh, there are rotating commands. There, it's called the forward slash spin commands. Um, I'm not going to talk about those in this video just because it would simply take too long. I'll probably do an advanced copy paste video. Um, but you'll notice when I paste here, unless I get lucky, it it might actually mess up. So let's just see what happens here. And I got lucky. <laughs> but if I had tried to paste this in a, a different area, that might not have worked so well. Um, as if I tried to paste this object over here, let's do it. I'll paste it. You can see only part of it showed up. And that's because it was trying to paste it out there. So your orientation is really, really important in pasting and copying and all that sort of thing. And I've got this little excess that I ended up copying with it. Sometimes that's just a necessary evil. Sometimes that stuff gets copied over with you. Um, and you got to do a little bit of cleanup. But anyways, that's the basics of copy and paste. Thanks for watching. This is Vapid23 from Vapid Flats Classic Server and SMP Server. Thanks for watching.